buoyed by rising stock markets and commodity prices, Africa's billionaires are collectively wealthier than a year ago. The 23 billionaires that Forbes found in Africa up from 21 billionaires last year, are worth a combined $75.4 billion, compared to $70 billion in January 2017. The richest African, for the seventh year in a row, is Nigerian cement and commodities tycoon Alako Dagoat, with a net worth that Forbes pegs at $12.2 billion. That's up $100 million from a year ago. Dagoat is looking beyond cement his most valuable asset and has been investing in a fertilizer production company and a large oil refinery. Dagoat Fertilizer is expected to start operations in the second quarter this year. Number two on the list is diamond mining air Nikki Oppenheimer of South Africa, with a net worth of $7.7 billion, up $700 million from last year. Oppenheimer is one of eight South Africans on the list, making it the African country with the most billionaires. Last year, South Africa and Egypt tied with six billionaires each. Boosting the South African ranks this year, newcomer Michel LaRue, the founder and former chairman of Johannesburg listed Capitique Bank Holdings, whose stock has climbed more than 50% in the past year, making LaRue a new billionaire worth $1.2 billion. South African mining tycoon Desmond Sacco, chairman of listed Asore Group returns to the list following a stock price surge of some 60% in the past 12 months. Sacco last appeared as a billionaire on the Africa's richest list in 2012 with a $1.4 billion fortune. He also appeared on the 2014 Forbes list of the world's billionaires, worth $1.3 billion. One South African list member wouldn't have made the cut a month ago. In December 2017, the share price of retailer Steerhoff International plunged after the company divulged accounting irregularities. That pushed the net worth of Steerhoff's then-chairman Christoffel Wies below $1 billion on December 7. Wies resigned as chairman in December. In early January the company said it would restate its financial results as far back as 2015 and the share price rebounded enough to put Wies back in billionaire territory, at least for the moment. Forbes calculated his net worth on January 5, the day we measured all the billionaires' fortunes, at $1.1 billion, down substantially from $5.5 billion a year ago. As of January 10, Steerhoff stock dropped again, knocking Wies's net worth below $1 billion. Zimbabwe gets its first billionaire this year, telecom magnate Strive Mesa Uwa, who chairs the Echoet Group. Shares of Zimbabwe-listed mobile phone network Echoet Wireless Zimbabwe have surged in value over the past year, Mesa Uwa owns more than half of that company. He also has a majority stake in fiber optic firm Liquid Telecom, which raised $700 million in a bond offering in July 2017. Forbes estimates Mesa Uwa's net worth at $1.7 billion. Just two of the 23 list members are women, unchanged from last year. Isabel dos Santos, the daughter of Angola's longtime former president. Jose Eduardo dos Santos, is worth an estimated $2.7 billion this year, down from $3.2 billion a year ago. Her net worth dropped in part due to a lower value for Banco BCI, an Angolan bank, its book value plunged in 2016 amid a tough year for the oil-producing country.